Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is trigonometric ratios and our subtopic is sine of an acute angle. So we looked at the tangent of acute angle. So for today we are going to derive the formula to calculate the sine of an acute angle. So just like uh, we had the tangent of an acute angle, we're still going to use a right angled triangle. So for us to get the sign of a right uh, of an acute angle, we usually do opposite side of hypotenuse. So if, for example, we are looking at angle X, the opposite side uh, is going to be this side of our hypotenuse, which is going to be this side. So for example. Um, for example, you are given such a question and you've been told to look for the sine of x. Remember, we said sine, let me write here sine uh, of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, we do not have the hypotenuse. We need to calculate it. Uh, we can use the uh, Pythagoras theorem. So it's going to be, we can give this value AC squared is equals to 5 squared plus 12 squared. So AC is equals to the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is the square root of 25 plus 144 so 25 plus 144 is equal to 169 so the square root of 169 is 13 so the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters so if you want to look for the sine of x it will be 5 which is opposite of a hypotenuse of a 13 which will give us 5 divided by 13, which is 0 0.38461. Let's do another example. We have been told to find the following by scale drawing sine 30, and also you have been given one of the sides. So remember, we need our opposite to the angle and the hypotenuse to the angle. So you have to you draw a line first of all. You can label this line whichever value you have. You can start with this specific point and then you place a protractor on that point on the line and measure 30 degrees Celsius as you can see. This is where 30 is and then you introduce a line along that 30 degrees and then on this line, on that specific point, uh, you make an arc from the uh, hypotenuse. This line that you have introduced on top here, you use a point or you place your compass on a certain point on, on this line. And then you make an arc, which is going to form a perpendicular bisector from this point to this line. And then... You measure this line so you get your value of opposite so for for you to pick this point remember we were given the hypotenuse you can be given the value of hypotenuse so remember when we were picking this point where to create the perpendicular bisector we already had the values of the hypotenuse and then after that you measure also the adjacent side so you have the opposite hypotenuse and the adjacent that tells you that if you divide this value that you're going to get here for the opposite, if you divide the hypotenuse, you'll notice that it's going to give you sine 30. Uh, let's look for the sine of the following angles. You start with sine alpha, 1, is equals to opposite, which is 6, over hypotenuse, which is 10, which gives us 0 0.6. If we change this triangle to... We turn, we, we bring this uh, alpha 2, a 2 here, down here. Our opposite is going to be 8. And 
our adjacent is going to be 6 and our hypotenuse is going to be 10. So sine A2 is going to be our opposite, which is 8 over 10, which gives us 0 0.8. For triangle 2, if you want to look for sine your, for this angle, it's opposite, which is 5 over hypotenuse, which is 13. So 5 divided by 13, you get 0 0.8. 3846. So, same case, we can get also this angle. We said you just bring it downwards. If you, if you bring the angle here, then the opposite is going to be 12. So, sign this angle is equal to 12 of hypotenuse 13, which will give us 0 0.9. Two, three, zero. When you look at triangle three, we want to look for the a one. So sine a one is equals to opposite, which is ten over hypotenuse, which is thirteen. So this is going to give us um zero point seven six nine two. So we can also look for A2, but A2, our opposite, will be this value, which we don't have. We can look for it using Pythagoras theorem. So this means is 13 squared is equals to 10 squared plus this value, we can give it x squared. This is the same as 13 squared minus 10 squared is equals to 10 squared. X, x squared. So x is equals to the square root of 13 squared plus 10 squared, so this is 169 plus 100, which gives us 269. And if we get um, the square root of 269, it becomes 16.4. So this is 16.4. So sine A2 will be 16.4 over hypotenuse, which is 13. So 16.4 divided by 13 gives us 1.26153. So that's how we calculate the sign of angles. So sometimes also you can be told to draw using scale drawing sign of 0 0.7. Remember sign 0 0.7, the sign of an angle is 0 0.7. This is, means that sign x is equals to 7 over 10. So 7 centimeters is our opposite side and 10 centimeters is our hypotenuse. So it means you have been given, you have the value of, of hypotenuse and opposite side. So you're going to draw a line um, and this line can be of any measurement. And then you are going to also draw, um, you get a point on the line and you make sure you measure uh, the, uh, this line you're going to call it L. You're going to make an arc on this line. How we make this line is a puppet. It's, you, you're creating a line on this specific point you have chosen here. So you make an arc on this line using a compass, and then you make two arcs on the bottom. You join this line so that you can form a straight line, and you call that line L. And then this point we will call it M. And then after that, you measure you measure this line, you measure uh, seven centimeters, and then at you you open your um, compass and you measure 10 centimeters on a ruler. And then using that cent 10 centimeters, you make an arc on this line. When you make an arc, you join that line to that specific point that you had created from the compass. So this is going to be 10 centimeters, and this is going to be seven centimeters. So if you were to measure this angle, this the angle X, it is going to be seven over 10. So remember, you also can get this value by using a ruler. You can place a, a ruler at the bottom here, and you get the value of this side. Remember, you have been given the specific values of the opposite side, and you can get the hypotenuse, which is 10. So once again, you draw a straight line, and then you get to a specific point, M, 
and then after you get m you measure from m to point l is supposed to be seven centimeters while you are in l you measure using your uh, compass 10 centimeters and then you open that compass 10 centimeters and make an arc on this line this arc can fall on any point on this line because we do not know the exact measurement of line nm so what where you make the point that is where the distance between m and l shows that is 10 centimeters so that means after you make that act, you are able, we can able now to get the distance between N and M in the case where, in case you were asked, uh, for example, for cos. So that's how we solve for sign of angles, both uh, measuring them accurately or, and also calculating them from the unknown. So you can get more relation questions on this and notes uh, in the app. See you in the next lesson.